Just a little something get the scream started. Just drop a little music video. A little, little, little yeah, little yeah. Uh, you know, go tap into that. Go tap into that. Um, but yeah, yeah. So much light, so much light, so much light. So today, melodies, 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 melodies. Teaching you how to make five melodies, stuff like that. Um, so. Number one, before I even get into, like, how to start a melody or where to start from, like, the biggest thing that I like to kind of constrain myself or just think about is, like, the vibe that you're going for. Like, if you just kind of start putting, I know it kind of sounds, you know, elementary, but, you know, if you just start putting stuff down, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're just going to go anywhere and not really have a focus. So, um, this first one, I typically like to start and warm up and make, like, melodies, like, some ambient stuff. Um, some synthy stuff. So uh, let me turn this BPM up just a tad bit and just start putting some stuff down. Let's find something I like real quick. Lacord, Lacord, and just stretch this all the way. For me. And then, so, just put some chords down. That's, this is one of the easiest ways to start a good melody. Um, if you want, you know, something cool, something unique, and you don't really know where to start, um, I will go by, I will go by putting a, or getting a pad sound that you like, and then just laying some chords out. Um, you see, we got, like, this is our bass note, and then, you know, we move up. I got these chords by just, li like, literally playing all the black keys on my MIDI. Like, this is something that would be cool. I literally just put my fingers on where some black keys are. So that's a little cheat code to start something. Just, if you have a MIDI... Find find any of the black keys, push them down, and you'll get something that sounds good. So um, that's how I typically like, typically like to start if I don't know exactly where you know I see this going, but I want something that sounds cool, and then I just layer from there. So um, the next sound we have Xenology, which is going to take five quadrillion years to load, but it is what it is. Um, and yeah, I want to that. Are my mic levels good? Uh, like you hear me or whatever people love to you know you might too low bro you might too low bro for me all right there you go so boom um one one little area of the knowledge that i've really been messing with lately is the pulsating uh like banks or whatever, like categories you can call them um and i just kind of go through and see what tickles my fancy <laughs> Pulsating for me, nah, my good. All right, for sure. Preach. This sound like it, it could be far. And 
and then this kind of sound like wacky right now but here we go so another kind of like methodology i have with my melodies is sometimes like i will affect or put effects chain on like the whole melody at the end but like with sounds like these these that are kind of harsh i don't want to wait to the end to have to process that so i'm probably going to put something on there now just to um, make it a little bit uh, easier to listen to because you know I don't want to fatigue my own ear while making the beat you know what I'm saying so I definitely don't want to give people ear fatigue while listening to the beat so we're just going just going to go into sound lab portal preset turn it down some And even this right here, like it's a, like it's a little bit empty, but like this right here could be a starter. And you know, for I can send it out to a producer, and they can do whatever they want on it. And this is literally just you know some chords and a and the theme. But this is an easy you know little starter melody, a starter sample. Um, put some profit in there. You feel me? I like this little bell. Nah, it sounds like out of tune or key, whatever. I don't, I'm not gonna use that. Turn his velocity down some. And then some serum in here. And then I'll call this a um a loop. And then, so the last thing I'm probably gonna put in here, when I kind of make my melodies, and I've noticed like it has you know good character on it, but it's missing that one little thing. I like to kind of just put arps, um, put arps under the melody. So like, even when one or two elements of the beat are playing, um, you still have some constant rhythm and ear candy in the background to make, to make, um, to make you know just to make it more interesting. Um, somebody says what you make for tight beat um i don't really i don't really know what you mean i'm i'm not sure i understand what that uh says means um um and then so yeah one thing i like to go with for arps is this experimental uh stock bank from falcon i find that it has a really good um interesting arps some of them are kind of out of there but some of them are are just just good enough you know I almost want to go this one because it just sounds crazy. Oh, that's why. Funny.
So I would say this is a pretty good, you know, decent little loop. I don't want to get too crazy on this one. And then for like for the um for the hook sections, I'm a I, I'm gonna take out this and then just kind of add in there afterwards, you know, cause that's a bit of a loud sound. I'm gonna turn them down some too. Um. Alright, so I say that's a pretty cool little loop. We're gonna um and um like sometimes when I'm making loops to send out to people, I don't really put effects on well, I mean I'm like I I just affect it how I um think it needs. So uh I guess I'll show y'all some more of my go to effects plugins that uh, maybe I haven't talked about on the channel yet. Um once this finally renders, because it takes a billion years to render. But um but yeah, but yeah. So as you see, like this is a very this is a very simple melody. Like you'll be surprised how simple your favorite melody is in in, in you know reality. Um, so we gonna route this. I'm gonna just route it to like ten. Um, am I good? Do I want to play with the pitch? Let's see. My eight. Nah, I don't really like that one. Um, so one that I really like is called the orb. It just gives it like like a swimming effect to um whatever melody you have on there. A lot of presets on there. Um let's see. See how I kinda give it like that little movement? Just really turn it up. And then, okay, so like, this is a cool melody by itself, but it's like, how how do you go from something that's cool? Is how do you really turn something like this up? All right, so boom, we got a starter. Um, now let's see what key I'm in. I've done I've done this method plenty of times on the channel, but like it's a tried and true method in my opinion. Um, so make your melody right. What key am I in? E B major. What's that relative minor? Let me see. Is it is it D sharp? I believe. I could be wrong. But let me open up Scalar just to see because Scalar be having that junk. Uh, where's Scalar at? So many plugins. Yes, it is D sharp. It is D sharp. Okay. Um Yeah. So do I have any any let's see. That sounds hard. I like that. twin on stretch and we gonna actually we're gonna turn him down to this and then I'm gonna cuz I like I like how that bass come through here um see, that's, that's nasty I know these are only stems, but I kind of like where they already are. But yeah, like this is like I tell you, I, I talk about this method all the time. Um, 
make your melody see what see what phrases and keys and it's not keys but see what phrases you already have in key and it just kind of added from there um now nah, we don't need anything else from here um i kind of like what we already have and then for maybe like another section i just put a piano in and here let me save this But yeah, let me turn him down some too. So I saw that we had some midis that are in the key of D minor. So I'm going to throw in SRX piano and see what these midis sound like with the, um, with what I already have. Um, it's, yeah, I think I'll end up liking how that piano sounds. Um, so let's see. Some, some said regalia. Let's see if this one is hitting for something. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some reverb on these on this piano and maybe some convolver as well. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna throw some super massive on there. Spectrics. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse the last half of it. Yeah, that's hard. So you don't have to put too, too much. So we just put literally like two extra, ele or really three extra elements in there. And it's a little bit more of a complete beat. Or a loop, I would say. Beautiful. Turn the BPM back up to where we had it at, like 132. So boom, that's one melody down, down right there. So what did I do for that melody? Um, started off with some basic uh, chords, played a pad, and then just played some kind of like accent notes to um, kind of fill in the space between those pads. That's what these three patterns are right here, the Xenology, the Prophet, and the Serum. Just kind of space to fill out the, um, the empty space left by the pad. And then um, an arp to run under it to give it some some consistent movement throughout the beat. Even though it's not playing throughout the beat, it still gives it that um, that that movement and eeriness when the beat comes in. And then I um, I brought in a, a brass or kind of like a bass phrase um, from this guy's kit. I don't even know. I just happens to be download kit. So whoever this is, shout out to him. Um, and then um, I just put a piano MIDI in there to give it a little bit more accent. And then boom that's like that's a melody that's a that's a nice uh yay type cardi um ooh, uh, really like yeet 2093 type of type of vibe like that's you know that's the that's the method that's the sauce um 
so yeah, let me get into uh, let me get into so, to the next one. Um, y'all know what I haven't made in a minute. I haven't made any plug in in a hot minute. So we gonna make some plugs, chat. We gonna make some plugs. And how do I start my plug melodies? With the handy dandy trusty dusty scaler. Yo, somebody was in my comments the other day and was like, "Yo, bro, like." Your producers are ruining scaler, or you know, y'all are ruining the game by using scaler. Learn theory. And while I'm not against learning theory, because I like I do know a little bit of theory, but the only reason that scaler is so much better than just really learning theory is because like people's time, I don't really have time to learn all the theory, bro. Like, if I like, yeah, I could learn how to play this and how to do all the five stuff on here, but I, drag and drop it, bro. For me, all right, so let's put that down. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I know this is kind of random, but I hope everybody in the chat's having a great day. Cause I know that my, I'm having a fantastic day. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, y'all y'all never seen Scalar before? No, I'm yeah, Scalar. <laughs> if I make a banger, I'm gonna make a banger with this. Bro, like that that's what I'm saying. Like, Scalar is Scalar is so good for people just getting into music or even intermediate to advanced people like me. Like, it like without knowing, like, it would take me years to place this down. Bro, it's it just puts it down, bro. And it gives you emotion, like. And then the, the beautiful thing is, like, that, sometimes when I'm cooking up with Scalar, I forget that that little felt piano is the stock sound. It just sounds so good, though, like. Man, tell 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 Summers come pull up on me, bro. I got the I got the good plug for him, bro. I, I was hearing him cooking up some beats on his YouTube. It was all right, but like that, them chords not hitting like these. You know what I'm saying? Just contact, get in with me. It's like nah. <laughs> Yo, 
and then <clears throat> kind of the same method as last one <clears throat> i have a good bass pattern and the the great thing with plug and like plug melodies so this this melody already is so full with bass notes top notes uh like kind of the mid frequencies that when you're layering it you can just work inside of this framework so you know like when i'm learning it, i can just go off of what i already have off this main melody but um <clears throat> i'm gonna put in another jv 1080 and then see if i can find like a pad or something that i kind of like um from this one um let's see where are the pads at where are the pads at where are the pads right pad greek power let's see what this sounds like um but yeah okay okay it's a little bit much a little bit much um this one kind of sounds cool oh yeah not nah, as wavy Handy Danny, Trusty Dusty, Purity. Where you at, twin? Oh, Purity. There you go. Would you, would you, would you, would you? <laughs> he said as we speak <laughs> I'm telling you yo, bro your beats gonna your beats gonna go up so I'm telling you I wouldn't I wouldn't lie to you bro I won't lie to you Yo, I'm I'm literally giving y'all the sauce on like how to how to add that that extra like uh to your melody melody like look at this purity pre y'all probably have all this stuff find a good purity preset play the pattern effects fragments like that method goes for any type of melody you make if you want to put something in there that sounds so unique that you've never heard before bro that's like that's the way to do it. And then I'm gonna put some reverb on him so he has a little bit of tail on him, but not too much though. Not nothing crazy, you know? Just something, just some, you know. And then some some orchestra, some symphony orchestra. Um, do I like all the beats I make? Um, honestly, no. I mean, if, if we're being completely honest, like, no, I do. Now I've gotten to a point where I know how to make stuff that I pretty consistently like. 
But sometimes, like, as a creator, sometimes, like, if if you make stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes the stuff you like isn't even, like, your best stuff and vice versa. So, nowadays, I don't really focus on, you know, what I like because I know somebody out there likes it. You know, it may not be for me even though I created it. Um, I just kind of let myself flow because, you know, when you're worried about what you like and this and that, that's you start to, you know, close yourself off to other possibilities. So I kind of focus on less about what I like and more about, like, the motivation and the feeling and emotion that goes into the music, I would say. That's a good question. Though. And, okay, so for plug and stuff like that, like, I love to give my, my plug beat some warmth by putting some violas and, um, uh, like bassoons and stuff like that in there. That gives it a lot of warmth. Yo, chat. Are y'all watching any good animes right now? I need, I need some, I need some uh, good animes to watch. I know y'all got some. I know for a fact y'all got some. That little shortcut I just did, if you select everything and then hold shift, you can move this, like, duplicate it and move it like that. So I just do, I duplicated that and then just put it up an octave. But yeah. Yo, Elijah, bro, I'm telling you, like, just, just keep cooking, just, like, keep, like, keep working, because, like, eventually you're going to stumble upon a recipe that works for you, and, you know, you can just keep building off of that, so when you, when you make stuff, you like it. Yeah, don't, yeah, bro, don't get demotivated, bro, like, never throw away your ideas, never, because, like, there's been times where I hated what I just made, I come back, I'm like, yo, who made this? This going crazy. I made it. You know what I'm saying? So, don't, bro, don't, don't, you know, don't. Music is a thing you don't want to think too hard about, bro. But I definitely feel I definitely feel where you're coming from. And then I'm gonna put a catchy lead in here. That's gonna be the melody, bro. I'm telling you. Ninja Scroll, haven't, we're going to put that one on the list, twin, appreciate it, <laughs> definitely haven't seen that one, um, is that new, wait, no, I'm thinking of Ninja Common Week, I just started that one, that's okay, We may try to get too freaky here, but let's see, let's see, let's see. This sounds out of there, but I like it though. It's something about it. And then um another thing that like I kind of think about when making melodies, like, okay, so boom, this sounds and even looks like a lot <clears throat> when it's on the piano roll, but you sometimes you have to think about the sounds as if you've already affected them. So like, yeah, this may sound like a lot, but when you put some effects on there, that's what really that's what really gives your beats that blend. Like when I first started to make melodies and make beats, I would try to like add those little elements in there myself but what you have to realize is like once you put the stuff on the canvas and put some effects plugins on it it's going to make it fly for you so you don't really have to worry about you know doing too too much with the pattern <laughs>
Ooh, hold on. I I hear a note. I hear a note. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Facts. Um, any tips on mastering? Bro, honestly, like I I, I do this every stream. I show y'all my mastering preset, bro. Like, and this may be bare bones, this may not even be the right thing, but I find that it really works for me. Bro, literally all I do is I put a, a, a EQ on it, right? But not the EQ2. I put the regular Fruity Parametric EQ. Like, not this one. This one. Boom. So at 1,500, literally go up one tick on your mouse. At 8,000, one tick on your mouse. 15, one tick on your mouse. Boost the mids, the highs, and the lows. And then, bro, I put a, I put a soft clipper on there. And I may play with these knobs, but for the most part, I really don't. And then that's real that like that's it bro. So we're not clipping over zero dB, but we're still giving every part of the beat you want. Like we're giving the highs some presence, the mids some presence, and the lows a little bit of boost. So that's what I do for um for mastering. I'm not really the like I'm not really a mixer. Well I I, I do engineer, I do mix them, you know, kinda. Um but yeah. Oh speaking of which Um Oh yeah, he says he's Maximus. But speaking of which, I have um uh a preset like a vocal preset because somebody asked me for like a vocal like mixing sauce i'm gonna drop a video of my mixing sauce um for my vocals they're super fine i'm not like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it bubbly. i'm gonna drop some super fine mixing sauce for vocals so um really turn y'all up 2024 but yeah that'll be the next stream i guess um but yeah back to the melody oh yeah we're gonna put some effect rack on this lead uh let's see what it's talking about Um, let's see if I take it up an octave. Nah, it's a little bit too drowned out. And I don't feel like EQing that, so I'm just gonna uh, pick a different effect. Uh, let's reset all these parameters. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What else y'all wanna know? What else y'all wanna know? Oh, did not mean to open that. Sorry, sorry. Unprofessional, I know. Okay, wave shell. Come on, wave shell. I don't even want you open. That's the annoying part. Okay, thank you. Move. Um, I'm gonna open up Portal actually, cause Portal is typically better at drowning out stuff and making it a little bit more saucy for me. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm putting drums on him. I can't cap. It's too far. I know this is a melody vid, but we gotta put drums on him. He too hard.
Mm-hmm. I need a I need a snap. Hold on, let me find a good snap. See, honestly, bro, that's the biggest compliment anybody can give me. Cause when I'm making my beats, I envision myself flying through space. Like that's literally the mindset I want to put myself in every time. So I I'm I'm glad that I'm getting the point across. <laughs> And then a little bit of sauce to go on your um your snaps. You definitely want to put some reverb or one thing I like to use that I don't hear a lot of people talking about. Of course, everybody uses super massive and Valhalla vintage verb, but um I like to put Valhalla shimmer on stuff like this to so give it a little bit of the high end. And kind of like right there, it sounds a bit wet, but when you put it in the mix, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, come on, uh, yeah. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little uh, quick freestyle when I put the 808 on. I got you, I got you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and arrange him now. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, it's snare hitting right here. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this little A, this gotta come in a little bit earlier. Cause like that, that that's hitting. Hey. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, exactly.
okay what i will do though um diffusion i think that's what it is yeah um so i'm gonna turn this down just so it doesn't echo for as long hopefully that that's what does it let's see because that was echoing for a really long time Mm, okay, so that wasn't the perimeter. Hold on. Okay, that's not that's not bad. We can rock with that. God, this beat is so fire, bro. Um, honestly, no cap. Um, Orion, I swear to God, it's a day to day thing for me, bro. Like, so for for this beat in particular, like I told myself that I wanted to make some plug, and I kind of already have a recipe for how I like to make plugs. So for me, it wasn't really random. Um, but like on a day to day, like when I first opened up stream, yeah, I just start clicking in something random. So like, I, like it's really a day to day thing. Um, to be to be completely transparent. Um, but one thing I did when I first started out producing, I kind of made myself like a black book or like a little cheat sheet. So like when I was, um, so like, let's say I want to make some beats for TG. I would listen to his music. What elements of his beats, you know, do I hear? If there's a pad, a bell, a pluck, okay, boom, that, you know, that's how I go from there. And then you kind of just build from there. So like, like when I first started out, it wasn't really random for me. Everything was calculated, but I've done it so much now that, um, now I can kind of go into FL, put something down random, and I know how to get to where I want to get, if that makes sense, you know? Hey. Ooh, is it on Cut Itself? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it is. No, it's not. Good shout. I'm gonna turn him down some. How did I learn to level everything by literally doing it over and over and over like um but one one method I did do okay so like is this okay so let's put it let's put it um where everything plays right so let's just take for example all of these so I have my melody um oh wait okay so is this um is is this at a good level okay is this at a good level? Yeah. And then you just got you just go across the board and you know kind of filter it out from there. Just like literally go sound by sound, take your time, do what you like, you know what I'm saying? Um what's your opinion on um producers just putting drums and loops? Um so I work at a studio and like I've been in sessions with, you know, artists and producers and sometimes like when you're when you're just in the studio and the artist needs something quick and you're trying to, you know, whip up a few vibes for them. You know, it's okay to, I feel like, put junk, put your own little spin on somebody's else loop, you know, for workflow and efficiency purposes. But um, but sometimes when people are just at home and, like, their production, you know, range is just putting drums on loops, I would implore them to be a little bit more creative than that because, like, if you have the time and the space, you know, do something that's authentically you, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with putting beats on it, but you definitely want to branch out, learn how to do your own melodies, learn how to put your own sauce on certain stuff because as a producer or as a creative in general, as a person in general, if you're single faceted and you only can do one thing, you're not going to gonna get very far. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, though, you know?
Um, I'm in Atlanta, twin. I'm in Atlanta. You probably heard in my voice as soon as I said twin. I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, we in the A. For sure, get that rendered out. Get that rendered out. For me. Oh, I'm taking my jacket off. I'm I'm in the crib cooking with my jacket on. What's what's up with me, Chet? It's a it's such a beautiful day outside, bro. The weather's nice. I tried to get outside and play some soccer yesterday, bro, but there was nobody on the field. So it kind of bummed me out. But it is what it is. I still got some good touches in with my boy. You know, um, chat. If y'all already haven't tapped and got hip to it, um. Just I just dropped a music video. It's up on my channel right now. Go uh pre that pre that show us some love. My boy Q edited for me. It's you know all around great greatness. You know what I'm saying. But um yeah, let's move on to the next one because this finally rendered. It did. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's how that that's how I was too. But I just bought a new pair of boots so. Trying to get back out there, get get back right, get back in, <laughs> uh, playing shape because it's super fun. I forgot how fun it was, bro. <clears throat> um, I have I have not, or um, no, I don't use the external drive for like my sounds. All of my VSTs, <clears throat> they're housed on my C drive. Um, I do have a copy of them on my terabyte just because I like to. Um, I like I have another um, uh, PC. Um, I have a ZenBook Duo, so I like to, I wanted to put all my sounds and stuff on there, so I just transferred it. But all of my sounds, they're on my C drive for my computer, too. Uh, let's see. Um, hello? That's weird. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, we gonna <clears throat> we gonna make some we gonna make some five stuff for like Osama. I said Osa, Osama Osama <laughs> Sun. We gonna make some five like Ken Carson Osama Sun type um, beats. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just. First started off little, 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 little plucky melody. Um, I'm gonna do R, R to randomize these velocities and then bring it down some. This is how you make your your stuff sound a little bit more realistic as it's getting played. And if you want some, now this is how you get all them glow, Akachi, um, Osama Sun, crazy like. Like wild melodies. I was talking about a little bit early in the stream, but this like so boom. I just laid down that pattern, right? And now I'm gonna go in this pulsating category in um in Xenology and just duplicate that till I find something that's sick and then we go from there. We move. <laughs> this like this this hard. This is hard. Hold on, we got another question. Let me see what it's talking about. Um, when you make a melody at the start, do you think about what scale you are in? What do you do? Um, okay, so number one, so when when we're talking about scales, yes, I do. Like when you when you saw me first open this beat up, I automatically put in an F minor because I kind of have an ear to what keys go with certain type of vibes, right? So I kind of set the key. And then um, if your FL isn't already like this, when you go to view, Turn turn on these view settings so you can always stay in key. 
in FL21 or tw it has something called snap to scale. If you look in the top left corner, you can see where it says snap to scale. So if I have this toggle, literally any note, like I can't even like I can't even put a note out of key. Like you literally can't put a note out of keys. Like I'm trying to put it right here at this E6. It's not letting me do it. It's gonna go to the note that's in key. So if you're worried about that, I would say have have snap to scale on if you want to stay in key but what i noticed is sometimes like that one note out of key sounds super fine so just play with it just see what you like you know Um, no, the first chord doesn't always have to start on the one. Um, you can put that, like, put your junk on the one, then invert that, take it up, um, and play with that, and something like that. But, like, when it comes to, like, set rules like that, where, like, it always has to start right here, nah, I don't, I don't do that. And then, also, another thing that helps me making the melodies... I'm not gonna lie, it sounds so elementary and so like basic, but literally like, like sing the melody with your voice, like like sing, like how you want to go. Like so, I know like I want something in here to go like wah, 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 wah. So I'm gonna try to find a sound that matches this. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Appreciate for the questions, bro. And yeah, this my PC isn't even crazy too. Like that's the that's the that's the wild thing about it. Like. It's, I got this like in 2020, so the, the parts are kind of dated, but for production, you don't really need it too, too much, so I guess it's good, right? Homicide game drop. I did. I did not. Yo, y'all want to hear something? Y'all want to hear something so crazy? Um, so I no, I didn't uh, hear the homicide game drop, but uh, I, I forgot whether it's Michi or Bino, but they actually went to the same school as me. That's so like that's so crazy. Destroy Lonely went to the same school as me, too. That's just wild, ain't it?
Yeah, that, like I'm not even I'm not even capping. I wish I had the yearbook, bro. Like that's so crazy. But yeah, I I figured that out like after um I graduated. I'm like, yo, what? That's wild, bro. Atlanta is so small, bro. If you're from Atlanta, like you literally know how small it is. So that's that probably wouldn't even shock you. <laughs> No, I, I, I definitely know bro's government. <laughs> It, yo, it's so crazy because like the lady who used to call, like call our names out on the intercom, like she used to always get his name wrong. Like that's how I like remember who it was, bro. Cause like, bro, you can't forget that name. <laughs> it was crazy. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Hello? What is that? Bro, what's so on my technology game? He was just talking about how my computer had no DSC, bro. Like, what's up? Yeah, this is this is chop, this is cooked. Hopefully we can cook it. Not even let me close that bell now either, bro. But I don't even like, I can't even like be out of the FL and restart the project, bro. And I don't wanna I don't wanna restart stream. Um look like that's the only option to restart the game, so oh brother, that sucks. Um I guess we Yeah, it's not even letting me close that bell, baby. Boy, that boy just put me on. I ain't not even know you can open it. Alright then, twin. I don't care. You just say that day. No bell. <clears throat> Alright. Um. Yeah. It it probably didn't save everything I did, but that's totally fine. Um. It's not the end of the world. You know. You lose projects. You you win some. You lose some. Um. 
yeah let's hope that it's safe no it definitely did not bummer sucks um but it is what it is <clears throat> let's see because <clears throat> the reason i'm the reason i'm not too much pressed about that is because number like i literally have the vibe of me making it so if, if it really was that serious you know um i would just i would just um um re like remake it from the vibe um yeah yeah they yeah, definitely saved me from hitting uh the end stream but cool um but i still want to make some like osama son type beat you know what i'm saying um bummer that it had to end off that way but now we can open up something else start fresh because that wasn't my finest melody anyway so i ain't really tripping too too much let's open up this uh let's see <laughs> Yeah, now we don't got an end stream, so appreciate you for putting me on to that. For sure. Hold on, I got a, I got a five melody in my head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It go like, uh. kind of hard yeah slum slap yeah 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 You say, uh, I want to start making pain loops. Do you think it's 50-50 that I've been paying you? Wait, hold on. Um, well, I will tell you one thing. I definitely think when it comes to making beats, I think the uh, people who make that that type of, because um, like, if I'm not mistaken, that's like Rod Wave type of um, beats. The ones who are going to be set apart are the ones who play it in because what artists looking for or what the ear automatically attunes to is that realistic feel like clicking it in. There's so much work that goes into making it sound realistic that um, that when you click it in, it kind of sounds robotic sometimes. But if you can make it sound like you played it in, then like you're good. But just, you know, learning how to play and playing stuff in like that, like that's what makes Zaytoven so crazy. Yeah, I can go through and make an organ roll, you know. By clicking it in but actually having a midi and actually being able to you know what i'm saying like that that that's what's going to set you apart you know Do I use separate uh, mix headphones or speakers? 
Um, so I just got a pair of AT. Um, what are these? Hold on. These are yeah, AT Audio Technica's M40. They're like a, like a hundred thirty bucks, I believe. Um, and I use these to um, mix. I have speakers. They're not um, like studio quality monitors, but um, I find that my mix is always pretty cool and consistent on these. So the only thing about these M40s, the the, um, the, the audio technical ones, the bass isn't. I, I wish I had a, a little bit more bass in these, to be completely honest. But um, as far as mixing, they're they're totally fine. You know. And then one more lead in this, and then I'm gonna just I'm gonna put some jumps on him. I don't wanna get too freaky on this one. This hi-hat is so punchy, bruh. Um, 
yeah, like, oh, you get fullness from filling up the range. So, like, these are where your bass notes can go. This is, like, four to five is where your mid-range can go, and then these high notes. So, just make sure you got something occupying from seven to probably around, like, four or three. And it's probably fuller than you think, you know? Exactly. Sometimes a little, a little is a lot. That stinking fruity limiter. Get away from me, fruity limiter. I rebuke you. These hi hats not throwed enough. I gotta have. I gotta. Gotta get some more uh, on the hi hats. Feel me? Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. They like their hi hats to go like crazy. Honestly, bro. Like. But they have a little bit too much high end for my liking, so I'm probably gonna change out the sound. Hey, sometimes nothing on the master, nothing on the master is cool too. Sometimes, cause like if you're getting a high quality drum kit, the sounds are probably already like, you know, mixed how they should be, you know, mixed. So you really, you really, really it ain't mandatory to throw some money, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just play the ear, bro. That bounce hard. Y'all miss with that bounce, or should I go like, like?
bro. That's how that's how I learned. Oh god. Appreciate you, appreciate it, appreciate it. All right, and then bet I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one more after this. I'm gonna make one more good one, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scream. Yeah, facts. I used to I be watching Nick Mirror sometimes. I be watching uh, really the one who my boy put me on my boy Nate. That boy Rio. I, everybody know how crazy Rio is, but watching Rio process and watch how fluidly he cook up, bro. I swear you you will become a ten times better producer by watching like thirty minutes of him cook up, bro. I promise you, you will. And you know, Rojas, of course. <laughs> you know, for me, I'm on Blizzle Bay. You dig? All right, yeah. Let's get let's get that next one crunk up. Let's get that next one crunk up. Um. Melodic ambient, bet I got you. I got you, twin. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. That ain't nothing. It's nothing. For for lucky, I'm gonna go into pigments and then get some. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. I may use a MIDI for this. Beat. I haven't used a MIDI all stream. So yeah, I'm think I I think I'm I think I'm gonna let myself use a MIDI. Uh, let's see where, yep. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Brent Rambo. 